Hi guys. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of integration. We have been given that i is integral from 1 to 2, 1 upon square root of 2x cube minus 9x square plus 12x plus 4 dx. Right? So this is the entire function given to us. How we can solve this type of questions is, let's see, because the options, if you see, they have been given in terms of i square being in the limits of a minimum and maximum value. So we just need to find minimum and maximum value for the i square. And then we can see which option it matches with. Well. So what we do in this type of questions is, first of all, let's find the minimum and maximum value for the entire function. So what we'll do is we'll keep f of x as the entire function, that is one upon root of two x cubed minus nine x squared plus 12 x plus four, right? So this is my entire function given to me. Now, how do I solve this further is, I can find the derivative of this entire thing. So I can write this function as two x cubed minus nine x squared plus 12 x plus four raised to minus half. Now, if I find the derivative, if dash of x, it becomes, so x raised to n's derivative comes out n into x raised to n minus 1. So n minus 1, that will make it minus half minus 1. Into further, we are finding the derivative of this function, that is 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 12x plus 4, right? So if I find it out, I get minus half. This becomes 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 12x plus 4 raised to minus 3 by 2. The derivative of this comes out. 2 derivative of x cubed is 3x squared minus 9 derivative of x squared is 2x plus 12 derivative of x that is 1. And this is 0. Right? What I get here is f dash x becomes minus half. This becomes 1 upon 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 12x plus 4 raised to 3 by 2 into derivative of the entire function that we get here is 6x squared minus 18x plus 12. So this is f dash of x what we get. Now what we do is whenever we want to find the minimum or the maximum value or we have to understand if that function is increasing or decreasing, what we do here is we put f dash x as 0, right? So put f dash x as 0 and find it out. So f dash x, if, it, if I put it as 0, I get minus of 6x squared minus 18x plus 12 upon 2, 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 12x plus 4 raised to 3 by 2. So basically, if I multiply both sides by this entire denominator, this entire thing becomes 0 if it gets multiplied with 0. So what I'm left with here is the numerator becoming 0. So 6x squared minus 18x plus 12 is equal to 0. If I further take 3 common, what I'm left with is 2x squared minus 6x plus 4 is equal to 0. So if I further take out 2 common, I'm left with x squared minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. If I solve this quadratic equation, x squared minus 2x minus x plus 2 is equal to 0. So what I get here is x, x minus 2, minus 1, x minus 2 is equal to 0. So I get two values of x, that is 1, or x is equal to 2. So now if I find, we get x values as 1 or 2. So f of x is increasing or decreasing in the limits from 1 to 2, right? So let's understand whether it is increasing or a decreasing function in 1 to 2. So what I will do here is, it is very difficult to find f double dash of x from this entire expression. So what we do is just let's put the values of x that is 1 or 2 in the function f of x, right? So let's find out whether it is increasing or decreasing. So if I write out f of x, that was known to me 1 upon square root of 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. So if I put 
x as 1 here, I get my function as 1 upon root of 2 into 1 cube, that is 2, minus 9 into 1 square, that is 9, plus 12 into 1, that is 12, plus 1. Root of 12 plus 4, 16, plus 2, 18, minus 9, so 1 upon 9, that is 1 by 3, that is function i, right? Apart from that, the other function, if I find out, that becomes, if I put x as 2 now, function becomes 1 upon root of 2 into 2 cubes. So 2 cube is 8, 8 into 2, that is 16, minus 9 into 2 square, so 36, plus 12 into 2, that is 24, plus 4. So 1 upon root of 24 plus 4, 28, 28 plus 16, 44, minus 36. So I get 1 upon 2. Now if I see I have this greater or lesser, so 1 upon 3 is lesser than 1 upon 2 root 2 because 2 root 2 is somewhere 2 into 1.4, so 2.8. So since the denominator is lesser, the actual fraction becomes greater, right? So for x equals to 2, we get maximum value of this i, that is function, and for this, we get the minimum value for x equals to 1. So basically, f of x, I understand, is increasing from 1 to where 1 is the lower limit and 2 is the maximum limit because we are getting the maximum value for the function i, right? So basically, I understand the i which was asked to us that is greater than the minimum value of i and lesser than maximum value of i. Minimum value we got was 1 by 3. Maximum value we got as 1 upon 2. 2. If I take the squares of them, i square becomes less than Square of this, that is 1 by 8. Greater than this, that is 1 by 3. And the option which matches with the answer for the question is A. So the correct answer for the question is A. We just needed to find the maximum and the minimum value that can be feasible for the function given to us in the question. And hence, we were able to define that option A was the correct answer for the question asked. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on integration. We'll meet again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe if you are finding these questions helpful. Thank you.